You! How could you? Ramirez, stop! Please, I don't want to fight you! It is too late, Fina. There is no going back. I will kill everyone and everything in this world. I will not be defeated. Ramirez, wh what are you doing? Have you forgotten? Zelos's power does not stop with the moons. Zelos is almighty. And only Sylvites can control it. To control Zelos, I shall forfeit my life. Ramirez, please don't! The Ramirez you knew is already dead, Fina. Zelos, I sacrifice my life for you. Zelos, awaken, I command you! changing. Ramirez, why did he... Everyone, we have to retreat. If we stay here, we'll all be crushed. That's Zelos? How do you expect us to beat this thing? Zelos has not finished taking shape. Once it does, it will be invincible. But if we attack while it's still forming... I understand. This is our only chance. Everyone, battle stations. We must defeat Zelos here and now. Now, Ramirez, no, Zelos, let's finish this. Alright, so right at the beginning, we have a choice here to maintain our distance or close in on the enemy. Obviously, at first, we don't know what this thing is capable of. We're going to maintain our distance. We don't know, <laughs> wow, we don't know what Zelos is capable of. Let's keep our distance until we can formulate some kind of a plan. Alright, so here we go against Zelos. Now, one thing that's going to be very, very helpful in this battle um, is to actually keep this guy silenced. We're going to do that with somebody else, though, because Vice is going to be um, obviously very good on offense. We're going to put it on, uh, you know, actually, um, I'm going to, I think, delay this and put it on because we can get this C turn here, so uh, we'll try to do that. Okay, so um, then from here we can have, uh, I guess Aka can go ahead and use an Apo Wax. We're obviously going to be keeping that up pretty much the whole time. Um, we can have Fina. This is where we're going to have uh, Silent. As you can see, it only costs 2 SP and 1 MP, which Fina's got like 34. So we can use that, and he'll pretty much, he'll be using a lot of spells in this battle. So if you use Silenus, you can actually keep him from doing quite a lot of his attacks, which is very nice. So we'll make sure to always guard on the red turns, because those things can be very devastating, especially later on in the battle. But, you know, since we're just starting out here, we're kind of keeping our distance, so we're just sort of feeling it out, you know, a little bit first. So unfortunately, he got that drill off on us before I could silence him, which is a little bit of a pain. I guess I probably should have used Silenus first, but, well, you know, that happens. And uh, Silenus, as far as I know, will always silence him, so you don't need to worry about casting it multiple times or it missing or anything like that. Uh, we will need to sort of uh, rebuff our ship on the next round, which is a little bit of a pain, but uh, it's not too big of a deal. 
you know, missing like one turn of offense, and especially since we have that torpedo on the first round, so we'll still get some in anyway. Yeah, thankfully we were able to avoid most of the damage on that, which is good. It looks like all of Zealus' attacks are coming out of that symbol in the middle. Alright, so we can either choose to attack from the front or the side. We're going to attack from the front, head on. It's dangerous, but that symbol may be its weak point. We've got to attack it from the front. Alright, so you can see we're weakened here. I Actually, I don't remember if you have to use a Curia Crystal then the uh, buff. You may have to, so we may have to actually use two turns, which is a little bit of a pain, but not too big of a deal. I can use the Moon Cannon here. Vice kind of has two attacks going on there, which is interesting. You don't see that very often. Um, we're also... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and remove... Uh, I'm going to use... Nope. Okay, so you can't... All right, we, we may be able to just use the Apo Wax to, uh, you know, completely, like, negate all of it. I don't want to use him to do that, though. Uh, we use the Moon Cannon on this turn, because the yellow turns are basically where he's going to be using square er, spells. So you're basically safe there. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the Apo Wax here... Uh, we'll have Fina Guard on the red turn, and we'll have uh, Enrique go ahead. I guess we can fire off uh, another torpedo here to hit on that red turn. Okay, see, the Apoax missed. That's what I was worried about, because I'm pretty sure you have to cure the drill first, and then use the boost, so it's a little bit of a pain. And as you can see, his spells are going to be missing here, so thankfully this round we're relatively safe. Uh, it, that's why it's a really good idea to keep him silenced. And yeah, you can see, even with 20,000 damage, his health bar only went down a little bit. We're going to be in this battle for a while. This is going to be a long one. This guy's got a lot of health, so... Um, but, you know, wouldn't have it any other way. This is basically the final ultimate ship battle, as you can kind of tell by the uh, changed music. You know, like, this is pretty much it. Zealous is the last ship battle. So, you know, you got to make it a good one. And as you can see, just pretty much he wastes this whole round casting spells. So that's why Silenus is really your best friend here. Because we'd be taking quite a bit of damage, especially since we're weakened. So, you know, you, you definitely want to make sure to keep him silenced pretty much throughout this entire battle. Thankfully, since we're at the beginning, that weakness isn't really hurting us too much, because he's still uh, relatively tame. It looks like Zelos is slowing down. I think we're damaging it. Alright, now's our chance to attack. Open fire! Alright, so again, we have the choice to attack from the front or from the side. I'm almost tempted to go from the side, because I believe that's the one that would give you the four C turns, but, you know, we can't waste a Moonstone Cannon opportunity. Alright, so I don't think we're weakened anymore. It looks like that went away. I guess that only lasts two turns as well. So we should be able to actually strengthen ourselves again on this turn without having to waste, uh, like, a Curia or anything. So let's go ahead and fire out that Moonstone Cannon there. Let's try that Apo Axe one more time. Um, what I might do here, we've still got, we've got um, one of these, a Thermal Grease. Um, as you can see, it restores Spirit completely. So I may go ahead and use that because, again, this is the final ship battle. We're not going to get a better chance. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can fire the moon gun, I guess. Actually, uh, if we're going to do that, though, let's fire... Let's actually get the uh, thermal grease here, fire the moon gun here. That way we'll restore all of our spirit afterwards. So you know, might as well do it that way. All right, there we go. We're strengthened again. Man, that feels a lot better. So there you go, fire that cannon right in the center, does a good 47,000 damage, takes a nice chunk off, good. And as you can see, it's basically just assessing damage, it looks like we hit a pretty hard last round, so it's going to take a little bit of time to recover here. So that's awesome damage for a secondary cannon. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, there we go. <laughs> so pretty much from here on out in this battle, we can just unleash everything we've got, which is going to be super helpful. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Look, Vice, Zelos is changing shape. The creatures of the Silver Civilization have no set shape and can morph at will, just like Cupid. Perhaps when they made Zelos, they gave it similar characteristics. Vice, what should we do? You're the captain here. Tell us what to do. All right, so we can either play it safe and keep our distance. You can see that <laughs> the two turns really doesn't matter that much, but you don't get a C turn or anything either way, so you better play it safe and keep your distance. So yeah, let's back off for just a little bit here. And uh, you can see, <laughs> from here on out, this thing is not going to pull any punches. Look at all those red and yellow turns. Uh, we also need to make sure that we get it silenced again. So, um, there's not really too much of an opportunity to attack, as you can see. I mean, there's no, like, C turns or anything. So, uh, it's basically, I, and I believe we are going to be retreating quite a lot. So, I may, um, if we can get a C turn there, so we may fire off a torpedo at the end to sort of hit there. Uh, we need to make sure that we guard on this red turn. We'll also uh, need to make sure we silence it here. Uh, it may get one spell off on us, but if it does, that's just how it goes. And uh, we honestly don't need to focus because we've got plenty of SP. So we may just fire a moon cannon here. I don't know that it'll hit. Uh, we may be like kind of running backwards the whole time, but you know, fire it anyway, just because we have the SP too. We'll recover it all next turn anyway. Wow, 920. <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, that sparkling deck really helps out. Alright, yeah, you can see it's going to hit us with one of its spells. That's why you want to silence it, because those spells can actually do decent damage. Uh, oh, man, we lost the target. Oh, wow. Alright, so we may just have to... Uh, yeah, it's, that's going to lost as well. Uh, we may just have to kind of weather this round. We'll probably have to heal on the next one. I guess it's not really that necessary, but obviously for this battle, you want to stay in top shape as much as you can. But, you know, thankfully we've got a lot of health and we've got a lot of defensive power, so we can really withstand its attacks, especially if we can get its silence. You can see that's kind of tearing us apart there. Vice, we're counting on you. What should we do next? Alright, so we can either keep our distance or close in. Obviously, closing in is going to give us that C turn and a Moonstone Cannon, so we're going to do that. We need to take a chance, yeah? So, alright, there we go. Okay, so he needs to be re-silenced. Uh, we can have Vice use the Moonstone Cannon here. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best one, because you always want to guard on red turns. So, um, what we might do... I don't... This will take up quite well now, because we need to guard on that. We only really have one turn. Um, I guess he can wait to be silenced one more turn. It's not really that big of a deal. We do need to heal, though. So let's throw out... Um, let's have Fina actually do that. With Aka, we can... Uh, we're just going to have to guard this turn. We'll have Fina use a complete kit, and we'll have to guard that turn as well. So not as much offense as I would have liked, but that's okay. It's more important to stay alive, you know? Thankfully, we really seem to be lessening that damage for whatever reason. But we will get a good torpedo shot in on that C turn, and we will also get to use the Moonstone Cannon. So, uh, there is, you know, a couple upsides to this turn, even if we kind of had to play it a little more defensively than I would have liked.
Thankfully, that's not doing very much damage. I'm actually really surprised by that, but uh, pleasantly surprised, at least. Alright, so there's some pretty good damage from a torpedo there. Looks like we're getting pretty close to uh, getting him halfway down. Okay, good. <laughs> I saw the yellow. It's like he's not using drill again, is he? So some more awesome damage from the Moonstone Cannon that's really coming through for us. Okay, so, ooh, yeah, we've we got a little bit of a decision to make here. Uh, you can see we have a Moonstone Cannon, but it is on a red turn, so that's pretty much going to be maximum damage to both of us, but I am going to take it. We are strengthened. We can probably, you know, we should survive. So we've got plenty of HP left, um, and combined with uh, like a pretty good offensive strike here, um, especially if we get the moon gun, we can pretty much go all the way through with it. You know, we've got tons of SP. So actually, on this round, we might have enough to take him down. We'll have to see. I hope we don't get to take him down before that red turn, though, because I'm pretty sure that's a different attack. So there we go. There is a different one. I think that's the same one he would use on the last red turn. So now I guess if we take it out before, that's pretty good. <laughs> ah, and of course he used Drill and how well. We should still have enough offensive power, I think, to take him down. Though that does make me a little bit more worried about the last turn. Ooh, yeah, that, <laughs> that deals... that's a lot less damage than I was hoping for. That, however, is very good. I'm really hoping we can take him down with that Moonstone Cannon. Oh, and he's quick out, which means he's probably going to go first on that last turn. Oh, man, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm actually a little bit nervous. Don't kill me. Okay, good. <laughs> that, that was a lot less. I was actually expecting kind of closer to 30 from that. But uh, I guess our defense pulled through for us there. So hopefully maybe we can take him down with this. Okay, yeah, looks like we did. So, yeah, we took down Zelos. Is that it? Zelos, it's... it's... yes, it's finally over. What the? It's not over yet. 
Now you shall feel the wrath of Zelos. You shall suffer for all eternity. Zelos will feast on your souls. Die. Okay, here we go. This is it. Ramirez and Zelos. One final battle. Unfortunately, we are in terrible, terrible shape for the end of that last fight. So it's pretty much priority number one to uh, make sure that we can uh, survive here. Uh, we do need to keep using Delta Shield. It's got its silver lines of spells as usual. Sacrum Crystal here with the Justice Shield. So we have to hope that... Uh, okay, this could be bad. All right, so Silver Nightmare, what this does, okay, whoever this is used on is going down. This is what makes the final battle so difficult, is the fact that Silver Nightmare is guaranteed to take control of one of your characters, and it goes out before anything else, which means there's no Justice Shield on this round because, uh, you know, Enrique got taken care of. Aka's gonna die here, pretty much guaranteed. Yep, down she goes, which means that's uh, no Delta Shield as well, which doesn't really matter because he used his turn. Uh, thankfully, we will get our two Sacrum Crystals out, which was the most important part of this round. So uh, we're able to heal up a bit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take care of Aka next turn. Um, with Silver Nightmare, it can, it's just a matter of luck. It's completely luck of the draw. Um, if, he takes, if he takes control of Vice, it can be very, very bad. Uh, because he can use Reign of Swords, and you know how strong Vice is, so um, that would definitely not be good. We're also going to be completely open to spells, which means an Eternum would be, again, very bad. Uh, we will have Vice. Uh, it's probably a good idea, especially if you've got plenty of items to have multiple people use it, just in case one of them does get taken over by Silver Nightmare. So, um, then we'll also, of course, use a Justice Shield here just to hopefully negate. Um, if he doesn't do it straight away before Justice Shield, that means obviously no Silver Nightmare, which is a little bit of a relief. Uh, but hopefully he doesn't bring out an Eternum or anything like that. Or an Eternace and just wipe out our whole party with one hit, you know. Alright, Drill Nuss. That's annoying, but it's you, you can deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. Now we'll have to see how many people it gets. Okay, two of us. Uh, Vice was one of them, unfortunately, which is too bad. And of course, this Ryzen Crystal's wasted, but again, it's a good idea to have multiple people use it just in case something happens to one of them. Uh, you never know. This is one of those battles where, like, regardless of how strong you are, this could be a very difficult battle. You know, just because of the luck of the draw with that Silver Nightmare attack, so... All right, we need to figure out what we're going to do here. We'll probably go ahead and cure these, because uh, that can be bad, because he can do a lot of damage. So we want to go ahead and cure the weaknesses, and uh, hopefully no one gets taken over while we're doing this. All right, good. So we should be fairly well protected this turn. So, like, it's not really even about building up spirit, you know, to get your attacks off. It's about surviving long enough to get your attacks off. This one can be pretty tough, and if you get bad luck, I mean, you know, with the <laughs> there's just not a lot you can do about it. So thankfully we're all cured up, which means none of us are weak, we don't have any lower defense or anything, and we have just a shield and delta shield up. So this should be a decent turn, we'll have to see. That's such an awesome attack. I love that. That's like one of my favorite attacks. All right, so that hurt Vice pretty bad, but he's still alive, and we uh, are protected enough that we can hopefully get off of Pirate's Wrath here without him being taken over. I'm going to switch over to the Captain's Hat, though, because he's not strengthened, so every little bit of attack will help. All right, so let's go ahead and use that. We'll have Aka, of course, with the Delta Shield. We'll have Fina, of course, with the Sacral and Crystal on him. 
and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, good. No one's getting taken over. So he's being really nice to us with Silver Nightmare, which, again, doesn't happen very often. I'm getting kind of lucky on that. So, all right, here's our good first attack on him. All right, so that's not bad. You can see, again, he's got a lot of health. This battle is going to take a while. Uh, thankfully, it's just a regular attack, so it's always good when you see that in a round. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, his regular attacks weaken, so that is something we'll have to take care of. But, again, that's just a Curia Crystal. That's no big deal. All right, so we're all good to go here, pretty much. I think we have enough. Yeah, we have enough for another Pirate's Wrath, which is interesting. Uh, we got a Delta Shield here. Um... I guess Fina can be the one responsible for curing Enrique of that, because we don't want any weaknesses around. And wow, and no Silver Nightmare again. He usually uses it a lot more than this. But, you know, I'm definitely not complaining about that. All right, another good hit in. Wow, we're actually getting his HP down pretty quickly. This is, <laughs> this is usually better than this battle goes, so uh, I'm definitely having very good fortune here. Silver Nightmare on Vice can be really a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, so there's a Turnum, which thankfully is negated. So, alright, we're actually in really good shape. We don't have enough spirit to really go on the offensive again. Uh, so we can focus here, we could use a Delta Shield, and... It might be a good idea to guard with Fina in case someone gets taken over and she gets attacked. Uh, and we don't really need a Glyph of Might, so I am going to... Uh, I might actually do the same with Vice, and we'll Delta Shield. Basically, if they're not doing anything, we'll just guard. Even if there's... Okay, see, this is why. So let's see who got it. Oh, Enrique got it again. He's pretty much the second worst, just because of that judgment move. Yeah, he's going to use it again. So if it's on... Let's see who it's on. Okay, it's Aka again. She probably won't die. I think she has enough health to survive this. If you remember last time I did, what, like 2,500 something? I believe she's got over 3,000. Okay, good. So as long as she's alive, that's good. Alright, um... We have enough. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully no one gets taken over. <laughs> that's about the only thing that can screw it up at this point, is if, like, Vice gets, uh... You know, controlled by that attack. Uh, so we'll heal Aka just in case. Okay, we should actually have him down on this point, assuming nothing happens to Vice. Uh, he should be done on this turn. Let's try this. All right, maybe this will do it. Victory. 